was young, I used to play soccer competitively, basketball, volleyball. I played, pretty much played everything. Um, as for video games, I actually played everything of video games. Street Fighter, Warcraft, Diablo, all the Blizzard games were my favorite. Um, and it, yeah, pretty much played everything. You obviously have leadership qualities. Was that always the case? Um, leadership qualities actually came after the years of playing with my team. Like, initially when I started on CLG, I wasn't really much of a leader. Um, but I kind of grew with them. I learned to be more respectful of my teammates. I learned to uh, just keep pushing, even if you're down, even if you're losing, and just keep keep on fighting. What skills do you think esports helped you develop? Listening to other people. Um, at first, I wasn't really good at listening to my teammates. It wasn't really my forte. But as I started to like grow with my team and play with them, I started listening, and I started listening to people in real life uh, better, and just trying to understand them, trying to um, really acknowledge what they're saying. Um, my confidence, I think I've improved all, overall since I started playing and I started performing and uh, I have more confidence when it comes to just being myself and doing my own thing. Any publicity I can give League of Legends or I can help League of Legends with, just anyone that I can reach is just, is more important than anything else because I want League of Legends to be successful, not just for my own interests, but I love League of Legends as a game. So I think it's worth the criticism that I take, and I think it's worth it in the end just to just to help the sport grow. I love esports, and I want esports to just be the next thing in America. I want esports to be huge. League of Legends just clicked for me. It was something new. It was something fresh. It had the concept of like free to play and it was easy to get into. The more people that you can reach with your product is just, it's better, you know? Isolating, isolating people out of, the, out of the game because it's too complex or it's too hard to pick up isn't really a good thing. And League of Legends just hit all the important aspects that I think a game should have to be successful. In solo queue, we meet everyone, like everyone that can get past 1800 or 1900, we pretty much meet. So we meet thousands and thousands of people. We interact with thousands and thousands of people on IRC, and we just we we reach thousands and thousands of people uh, through streaming every day. You know, we all read the forums. After my games, I read the forums. I read Reddit. I think we're really, really interactive with the community. We love them. Would you consider yourself an athlete or an entertainer? I think I would consider myself a little bit of both, and I think everybody needs to be a little bit of both. Um, to really appreciate esports on a grand scale, you need to really show emotion. You know, being that cold, empty person that just doesn't show any emotion doesn't really get far in terms of entertainment. And, and, and just entertainment is a vital aspect to grow, um, grow esports. You know, you take a very hands-on approach to your team. Why is that? Well. CLG was kind of my baby. Um, I put a lot of time and effort and even money to just make sure that we could succeed as our team and be our own entity and our fans to, you know, appreciate that. What's your own personal ultimate goal? I think my ultimate goal is to just work with gaming and work with esports because at first I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but as soon as I got a taste of what being on a competitive team was like, being with esports, being in gaming in general, you know, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to school and uh, learn, you know, something that's not going to really excite me, you know. I want to work with gaming and I know I can. So I'm going to try my best to help esports and help everyone else that wants to pursue esports. And, uh, yeah.